guys welcome back to my channel my name is sarah hennessy thank you for um tuning into this um yeah thank you for clicking on a video that looks like this uh i tried to turn myself into the joker i was very excited to do this look for my nephew aiden and surprise him um but then i did it and it turned out like this so I don't think like special effects makeup is in my future. I think just beauty makeup is for me. <sighs> Cause this, this is laughable. <laughs> Do you know how I got these scars? <laughs> 12 layers of this. <laughs> I can't, ow, oh, okay peeling off this is great well before we get into me trying to do this and epically failing um i will insert pictures of what i was trying to do these scars came out cool like i think i can do maybe do like a look where i look like i got cut or something with blood but a joker look no. But first, while I peel this off, we are going to sing. Yeah, but it's peeling off everywhere. The theme song. Watch me do my makeup. La 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 la. Watch me do my makeup. La 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 la. Okay. Stay tuned for the shit show. By the way, this video is for my amazingly perfect nephew, Aiden. I did a Harley Quinn video, so I wanted to surprise him with the Joker because he loves the Joker so much. Aiden, I'm sorry that it looks like this. Um, feel free to have this wig if you want to be the Joker for Halloween, but snatch. <laughs> oh my God, I can't. My <laughs> I look like I belong in Friends Hospital. If you're not from the Philadelphia area, it's like a loony bin. like Or like one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Or I don't know what. This is... T Wait, and I just washed my hair this morning. I have to wash it again. I want to wash my hair every day. I wash it like every third day. Oh my god. Get ready for the shit show, guys. Enjoy. If you like this um, video or if at least this video makes you laugh, hit that like, subscribe. Uh, I ripped this off before I even took the thumbnail. I think the thumbnail is just going to be me like, I failed. Um, okay, I promise the next video will be a good one. I should not have ripped this off like that. I bought remover, but it's upstairs and I was too lazy to go get it and I just wanna wipe this off. And this stuff, number one, I probably shouldn't be using it cause I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. But number two, um, apparently when you rip it off, I think it pulls off a layer of skin cause this feels baby smooth. There's no peach fuzz here. <laughs> Oh my god! This video! Oh man! Please like our video! Yeah, my mom wants you to like this, this, this. Um, so... I'm just gonna end this here. Um... Stay tuned to watch how I created this and then kind of angrily ripped it off. I'll see you in my next video. I promise it'll be better. Bye! Why doesn't it stop? Okay, now I am just going to start off with quickly and poorly um, French braiding my hair since I will be going in with a green wig. Um, I'm not really taking off any makeup besides my lashes for this because um, the Joker doesn't wear lashes. 
And now I'm going off of those two pictures I showed earlier as a reference to how I want to draw out the scars. Um, and I am just trying to duplicate um, the scars from the Heath Ledger Joker pictures as best as possible. Not doing the best of jobs, but I, I tried. That That's all that matters, right? <laughs> Next, I am going to go in with some Rigid Collodion and just put, I think I put like eight or nine layers of it on my skin. And what it does, I believe, is it shrinks your skin, which in turn makes the skin around it puffy. So it looks like you have a cut or a scar. Um, I watched on Mikey glamagore her video about this and she did say if you don't know what you're doing with the rigid collodion not to use it um i probably should have listened because it burned a little and it smelled really bad but i clearly don't like to listen <laughs> so now this is what it looks like with the eight or nine layers going on and it's just you can see the scar indenting a little bit more and a little bit more All right, I'm just packing it on. I believe this is the last layer that I had to do. I wanted to go in with some more layers, but it was starting to burn a little bit. And I did not want to break out my skin more than I already had. So I just left it at that. Now I am going in just with any powder just to try and get rid of any shine that may have been on the area where the scars are. Now I'm going with LA Girl Pro Color Foundation and I am using this to essentially paint my face. I'm trying to make weird faces and squeeze my forehead and trying to um, give myself wrinkles or make it look like I have more wrinkles. I think where I went wrong here was I'm using a foundation, a white foundation as opposed to a paint, but I think even a cream paint would have been too thick. I think I needed to use something like water-based paint, something a lot thinner. I think I would have been able to achieve a better look that way. Um, again, I'm just scrunching up my face in weird and ugly um, ways <laughs> just to try and get more texture to my skin and more wrinkles because Heath Ledger in Joker is number one completely huge, iconic but number two like his makeup was so messily but also flawlessly is that a word anyway perfectly applied and it even looked like some of it was just wearing off but I'm just going to town painting it everywhere I even painted it over the scars, I'm trying to make my chin look weird to give that some texture. And yeah, it's gonna, I don't know what that look was, what I thought <laughs> I was going to achieve by that. So I'm just going to continue to paint my face white. And also, I think I put too much of it over the scars, and I think I even messed up the scars a little bit by doing that. But eh live and learn this type of makeup just is not for me okay and for some reason i'm adding more white like i needed it because his face wasn't this clown white it it seemed like i had more of like a white tinge or like just like a white tint I'm trying everything i'm trying to go in with my fingers trying to scrunch up my face with my hands and instead i'm just painting more on i think at this point i was just dipping my brush in a cup of water trying to you know maybe loosen up or um lighten up the consistency of the white paint i don't know why i'm painting it down my neck i think that's just habit because i hate when my neck doesn't match <laughs> but that's that's just what i was doing all right now i'm going in with i think this is cc beauty i got it on amazon it's just a cream paint set and i am going in with a thick brush that came with it and i'm just dipping it into some water 
and then into the black and trying to you know make weird again twitch my eye or squint my eyes to kind of give it the wrinkly effect but really I just ended up making myself look like a dog that's what this reminds me of like a Dalmatian or a puppy (laughs) now I'm trying to draw on wrinkles and regretting my life choices (laughs) Um, oh man, I was internally screaming at this point. I was getting so frustrated because I was excited to do this look. I had this whole Halloween costume planned out where I was gonna, you know, in my head have this like badass Joker makeup and then I was gonna wear like an old fashioned nurse costume. So it was like that scene in The Dark Knight when he blows up the hospital and he's walking away he has the nurse costume on. I thought that would have been so awesome. But yeah, I'm not doing that because, yeah, this makeup is terrible. But I tried. I tried my hardest. Sorry for the phone ringing. Um, so I'm now going in with more white. I don't know why. I'm not sure if I'm going in with more white paint or if I'm just going in with water. I'm not sure. Do, 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 do. now this part um I filmed really bad I was mostly out of frame but essentially I was just tracing over the scar and then um just putting red all over my lips all over the scar imagine Steve Buscemi in was it in Billy Madison when he was just applying the red lipstick around his lips that's essentially what I'm doing and putting it on my face but that's all I could think of when I was applying the lipstick was Billy Madison and Steve Buscemi (laughs) um yeah this is completely out of frame but it's not like this is a good look anyway to where you're gonna want to recreate it so but it's just (laughs) I just laugh even trying to do this voiceover um I'm just doing the other side quickly, trying to make it match, but also not match at the same time. Now I'm going in with a precision brush and just the black mixed with a tiny bit of white to make it like a dark gray color. And I'm just trying to draw out um, some wrinkles from the eyes and also draw out some wrinkles on my forehead. But again, as you can see it, wasn't that successful but eh, it was fun I laughed a lot when I was done after I was done being angry (laughs) at how bad it came out but if you can't laugh at yourself who can no there's some saying but now we are going in with this really high quality wig that I got for eight dollars on Amazon the part was so weird I couldn't figure out how to put it on the right way. It took me a solid 20 minutes. And then still some of my hair was poking through. So I don't even know if I have it on right. So I just got some of the green cream paint. And I'm just painting my hair green to try and get it to match the wig. So it doesn't look like I have the blonde hair. Because I don't exactly have a receding hairline. So... I, it's not like I could. I think that's what this wig's for, maybe. I don't know. But now I am <laughs> Steve Buscemiing my lips even more to see if that would help the monstrosity. Guys, I'm back real quick. Oh, my hands. Okay. Yes, beauty makeup is my specialty. Oh, that sounds weird. But that's what I'm good at not good at the other kind like the where you put stuff in costume and all that stuff but also in my defense i don't have that many wrinkles on my face like i watched the video from glam and gore and she like not saying she has lots of wrinkles i mean i think she just has a more wrinkly forehead than me i don't mean to be like it sounds really bad to say but i don't have that many so i was trying to make like weird facial expressions you'll see in the video but when I would make them, it wouldn't make enough wrinkles. So I guess I should be happy. Jeez, Louise. I guess I should be happy that at 30, I don't have that many wrinkles. So silver lining. 
now I'm done. Who's that? Is? I am the email joker. Um, I'm going to draw some tears on and sing some matchbook romance. My eyes burn from these tears. Okay, that's it. Why so serious?